были, блядь, красавцы бы. Нахуй. Блять, красавцы бы! Нахуй! In the Ukrainian-controlled Russian town of Sudza in the Kursk region, stranded Russians are wondering what to do next. They thank the Ukrainian armed forces for their good treatment and ask for a peace agreement, the Washington Post writes. It is noted that the publication's reporters visited the captured territory and did not see any evidence that Ukrainian soldiers robbed or attacked civilians. The way Ukrainian troops operate in this territory and apparently treat the people who live there reinforces official claims that Ukraine sees the purpose of its offensive not as a conquest, with the goal of long-term annexation, but rather as a bargaining tactic. For forces on the ground and for many across Ukraine, the incursion is seen as a vital tactic to prevent Putin from trying to freeze the war to Ukraine's detriment. The article says, Russians interviewed in Sudza said they had been treated well and did not know of any residents who had been killed, but they still wanted their city back under Russian control. Despite the war raging just outside the border with Ukraine, they had no idea it would reach them. We didn't even think about it, said one of the Russian women. Another said that Putin should come to an agreement with Zelensky since they all want to return home and so that everything is resolved in a good way. We want peace and harmony. We don't want anything else. We don't need anything else. Please help us, another Russian woman said. Residents of the Kursk region blame the Russian authorities as well as the media and Z bloggers who are hushing up the real state of affairs in the region after the Ukrainian army began its offensive. Local authorities have completely failed to work with the population, failing to fulfill their responsibilities. The residents are panicking because no one is solving their problems and on the eve of autumn they are left in their underwear and without housing. Trying to understand what is happening in the region, people are forced to read Ukrainian and Western publications because Russian sources remain completely silent, fearing to spread the inconvenient truth. Apti Alodinov, the commander of the Chechen Akhmat Regiment, fighting for Russia, said in a video that Russian conscripts should go to the front and those who will be killed in Kursk Oblast will go to heaven. Alodinov himself isn't fighting on the front. Addressing the conscripts' parents, Alodinov said that Russia is currently under attack by the enemy and everyone must stand the line. If your 18-year-old children, who are already in the defense ministry, they are servicemen, should not defend the homeland, even when it is attacked by the enemy and when the enemy is on our land. I have one question for you. Why does this country need you and your children? Said Alodinov, a close ally of Chechen warlord Ramzan Kadyrov and an official at the Russian Defense Ministry in a video published on Telegram. No one will die who is not destined to die. But if you die defending your homeland, your faith in God, you will go to heaven, he added. Alodinov said that he understands only those parents who are dissatisfied with the payment for conscripts offering them to sign contracts. The commander of Akhmat recalled Putin's promise that conscripts would not participate in the war. But today is war. The enemy has come to us. Today in our country, everyone from the youngest to the oldest must stand in formation. No one will die who is not destined to die. But if you die defending your fatherland, your faith in God, you will go to heaven. And what could be better for a person than heaven on the path of the Almighty? Nothing! After the Ukrainian offensive in the Kursk region, it turned out that the border there was covered only by territorial defense, border guards, and small military units, including conscripts. 
According to the Washington Post, more than 250 conscripts were eventually captured, despite Putin's promise not to send conscripts to the war and appeals from parents demanding that their sons be taken out of the combat zone, conscripts in the region were not sent from Kursk Oblast to other regions. Moreover, conscripts from other regions of the country began to be transferred there, which parents complained about.